Hey everybody, I'm Jared. You're watching Grab a Gear. And today we are reviewing a 2023 Chevy Corvette Stingray 1LT edition. Let's take a look at this thing. All right, guys, before we get started, I have to point out Kistner Motors here in Grand Junction, Colorado. Colby Wells and his family, they've owned it for over 20 years. They treat us great. They treat us like family. They let us take this uh, Chevy Corvette out for just a small, very small test drive because it only had 300 miles on it roughly. Can't do much more than that, but we did get to take it for a tiny test drive. Awesome company, Kistner Motors in Grand Junction, Colorado. If you're ever in need of a used car, check them out. Obviously, they have great vehicles like this 2023 Chevy Corvette. It's an amazing vehicle and they're an amazing dealership. So look them up online at kistnermotors.com. All right, guys, so under the hood of this bad boy, there we go. Let's take a look at this massive 6.2 liter. I'm an idiot. <laughs> Under the trunk of this Chevy Corvette, we have a 6.2 liter massive beast of an engine, which is mid engine whatever it's a mid-engine car there we go up front here guys you can see we have what's called a frunk it is not very big you can easily fit two 30 packs in here maybe even a 30 pack and an 18 pack yeah there's a little bit of room so definitely no engine i'll give you that whenever you shut it obviously you don't want to slam it because you know there we go all right, obviously on this Corvette, it's a Stingray edition. So you have these sweet wheels that actually have the Stingray on the center cap. I love it. The attention to detail is phenomenal. The car looks slick, amazing looking. Love how the lines swoop down it. You look at it and I just see performance. Amazing is what I see. I mean, Chevy really sort of outdid themselves. The, uh, the old Corvette doesn't even, to me, compare when you look at this compared to that. All right, guys, so here we are under the trunk <laughs> of this uh, Corvette with the 6.2 liter, pushing out 420 horsepower roughly. And honestly, they made this thing look clean. It is nice. I really like it. It does have a performance for pre. See, that'll be in the uh, bloopers. It does have a performance exhaust on it that Kistner Motors just added. I love the glass so that you can actually look back and say, Wow, I'm driving a Corvette. All right, here we are at the back of the Corvette. We do have a trunk space. I was hoping there would be a little symbol of a golf bag or something. I couldn't find one, so I don't know if you can actually fit a golf bag. But I'm pretty used to carrying the 30 packs, so... You know, you could probably fit three pretty easily going across here. There is actually a decent amount of room to shut it, just so you guys know. You bring it down... And then it shuts itself. You don't slam it. Love the sleek design of the back, though. And I love the Stingray right there on the top. It looks amazing. The exhaust also. Mint. So here we are on the inside of this Corvette. And I will say, it is like a spaceship. Um... We didn't really get to drive it like a lot and by not drive it a lot i mean we put about half a mile on it not much so i don't know a whole bunch about it i just want you guys to see the interior see what it looks like the front screen everything there is just gorgeous high quality crisp and clean love the steering wheel design i love the actual z button right here on the side it's great the uh, everything is driver oriented, which is interesting. I've never been in a vehicle that does that. Um, the controls are a little odd, but it's pretty sweet. I'm going to start it up real quick and let's see what happens. Oh, wow. It does sound good. You guys will hear that in just a sec. <laughs> So 
So over on the right hand side of the driver, you have the buttons for everything. You have the heater, you have the cooling, the sink system for the uh, heating and cooling. You have all of your vents and everything, your fan speed, AC, recirculating. Everything that the driver would need is right. To the left of that, you have the reverse neutral drive, park, manual, and the mode and the traction control button. Like we said, we only got to drive it for a little bit, so we didn't really get to experience too much. Just so everybody knows, to turn off traction control all the way off, this is how you do it. First, you push and hold the traction control off button. Now, you are free to do whatever you want. You do have a little bit of storage right here in the middle under your armrest with a USB-C, auxiliary, and USB. The backup camera on this C8 is very nice, very crisp, very clean, and I do like how the lines move to sort of tell you where you're going. So here we have our, our main speaker between the two of us, which is hard to twist and move around. And we also have our rear glass so you can see your engine at all times when your eyes are not on the road. So here we are with the C8. We have weather for our first mode, my mode, which is the best mode. Then we have tour mode, sport mode, track mode. All right, guys, so there you go. That's our quick review on a 2023 Chevy Corvette Stingray 70th edition. I think it's 70th edition. Um, we didn't really get to do a bunch with it, so we didn't have a bunch to say. This is more of us actually just showcasing the type of cars that we actually get to use and play with and have fun. Um, Kistner Motors really hooked us up. Like I said, we only got to take it around for like 0.7 miles, but at least we got to take it out. That's what mattered to us. Love the car. It's gorgeous. If this is the type of thing you guys are into and you can afford, check it out. Chevy makes it a fantastic looking vehicle, way better than the old ones. That my opinion, obviously subjective. So anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed the, uh, the episode. I know this one was longer than normal. That's because there was so much we wanted to show you, but not a lot of time for us to do it per se. So like, subscribe, and remember, check out Kistner Motors in Grand Junction, Colorado. We'll talk to you guys on the next one. Well, guys, as I promised, I'm going to be enjoying some donuts in this 2023 Chevy Corvette uh, Stingray edition. I think it's 70th edition. Yep, 70th edition. Like I said, enjoying some donuts. Definitely not clickbait. Promise you that. So that's good. That's good. We don't lie on Grab a Gear. Oh, bye. <laughs>